You quell the Lord, new Lord Arkine. Oh ho, let's tell Commander Kamada the good news, shall we? Back to Jubilife we go. Wee. Away we go. You did well on your mission to the Cobalt Coastlands. Thanks. Your efforts there aided not only the galaxy team, but the Pearl Planet as well. I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space-time rift somehow. <laughs> what? Okay. If we are able to get rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origins. Though how we might actually close the rift, I have the slightest idea. But me neither, bro. Main truce of the mission. Man, I don't like you. <laughs> Yeah, potato mochi! If you know today's potato mochi tastes a bit different, well that's because I used a Pokemon's flames to roast them. Bon appetit! Cool. Birth of a new Lord Pokemon. What a sight that must have been. If I only I had journeyed to the fires that I would witness the event myself. You could have come, dude. Could you even ride on a Basque Legion in the first place, Professor? I think Iskin took a boat. Come now, you know my coordination is so poor I can even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. And I can't dodge Pokemon's attacks quite literally to save my own skin. Of course I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basket Legion. That being said... All, we'd all do well to remember the wise words, the ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end. And strive I shall. For the sake of my research, I will surely ride a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokédex for all posterity. Man, I hope I get to see this guy on a Pokemon. Just you watch. Next day. Yeah, do some stretches. Nice and limber for the morning. Who is this? Good morning, good lady who came from the sky. <laughs> Commander Kamado told me to let you know he awaits your arrival in his office. Okay, okay. I have a name. Hey, it's, uh... I don't remember his name. I have your next orders. You must go to Cornet Highlands to quell another frenzy noble, Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. That's a good title. Electrode has a propensity to absorb electricity in its body, then unleash it. But since Electrode became frenzied, those electrical outbursts have become giant blasts. Hmm. We'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid in securing you safe passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent words ear to asking. No, you don't have permission to go up there. Oh, save it. As if I'd be stopped by the likes of you. Now, out of my way. Cool. Ayo, boss man, Kamado. I thought I might have slipped your mind to send me an invite, so I took the liberty to stop by anyway. Nelly, where are your man manners? We're having an important conversation. Well, there's Yushi right there, Adam, man. How do you- how did- exactly did you intend to discuss Electrode without me? It's mighty warded, here to weigh in. There's no more to discuss, we've already asked them to quell the Lord of the Hollow. Oh, come on, it's- is it me you're trying to humiliate here, or our entire clan? Besides, do you really think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? Bro. Wow. Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. Pay it no mind. It seems even the security corps personnel I train myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden Neely. Nelly. That being said, yeah? It's clear the security corps needs even farther round of training for me later. Ah, oh, those poor people. Hear that, Nelly? The security corps will solve themselves to sleep tonight, thanks to you. Commander Sumo moves can send even boulders flying. Yeah, he gave me a concussion my first day here. Now, now, that'll do. You have your orders, see to it that Electrode is quelled. Mornelli, of course, we would appreciate your help if there's anything you might assist with. Sick. Now go. Oh, here we go, more cutscenes. Listen, Nelly, the galaxy team, well, at least, uh, Bailey is amazing. I won't prove it. Follow me outside. Uh, do I have to fight you now? Bro. I don't think I've 
fought Adaman yet. I don't know what he has. Ooh, Leafeon. Okay. Whoop. 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 Here we go. Alright, go around with me. Let's do it. He's just standing weirdly close to that small child. Make sure you watch closely now. I do not see it. Yeah, Bonita! Oh, there's just a random Eevee here too, like last time. That's fine. Hi, Leafeon. How'd this Eevee get here? Eviscerated. <laughs> nice. See how good she is now, yes? No more sneering at her. Humph. Wow. And I think our helper from the Pearl Clan is gonna meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later. Always glad to have your help. Thanks. Nelly, shift yourself unless you want even more than more of an earful than you're already due for. <laughs> oh, come on, Adaman. Come me some slack here. No. Don't be rude. Silene. I mean the Survey Corps office will go over the particulars of your mission. Go inside. Come outside. Go back inside. Oh, we're inside. Your Survey Corps work will take you to Coronet Highlands next. It'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands. So you need help from a particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go to the training grounds, you should find them there. Okie dokie. Go back outside. Go here. Have another cutscene. Walk by feet. Do a different cutscene. Oh, it's that guy! I met him earlier. Look forward to conducting you on this endeavor. Let me talk to Ira. There we go. Hello! This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves the Snee who serves Sneasler. He will guide you to her domain. Through her domain. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how do you do before. I am Warden Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making this journey. Now let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard- all aboard what? Inko's a bit like you, you know? How so? He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be a bit- be missing. Is my memory missing? Is that the story here? Maybe traveling with you will help fill some of the gaps in his memory. In any case, I'm glad to have your- your help to count on once again. Good luck up in the highlands. Thank you. Well. Off we go. Ooh, mass outbreaks. Where? Ooh, it's a side up one. The Coronet Highlands. Whee! Okay. Spooky. Hey, it's Lavington. What's up, bro? There you are. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock and ground type Pokemon wandering around these craggy, boulder strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in spe space time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Okay. Look at this nose pass statue. <laughs> Alright, let's go see the guy. How do I? How do I get 
get down? Oh, this way. What's up? The electrode is known as Lord of the Hollow. It's somewhat different from the electrode I recall, but if but its electrical discharges at least are familiar. So this guy is from my time as well, presumably. One false step around it can put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching a Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially when irritable is electrode, then becoming frenzied to boot. So true. It's a tough life, old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Oh, it's this guy. Whoa, whoa, well, we're Ningo of Pro Plan? Oh my, the Galaxy Team grew up from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the great Electrode Lord of the Hollow. But, by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest uh, obstacle you'll ever face the way to right here. That'll make you dare. Absolutely not. Well then, let me take tell you the great Melly's take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of the almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that that's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to the almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as is right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. Bruh. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway? Electro lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains. Somebody's gonna get hella hurt, dude. Really, you should do us all a favor and sleep back home to that village of yours rather than assist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. Alright. Bye. What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokemon themselves such suffering. What is it you want to do? What if I said turn back? Very well. The tracks will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. Huh? To meet Sneasler, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokemon like Goldbat and, Goldbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Whoop, oh, oh, whoop. Where are we going? Oh yeah, it's super dark. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Probably. Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route and I'll conduct this safely. Darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. They care not to become uncoupled from me. Okay. Oh. I really- I recall faintly that I had a partner once. A precious one. It's hard to follow, because it's only letting me walk a little bit. Its name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. If only it were here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. I have a ponyta. <laughs> Does that help? Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you, but given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. I care not to come uncoupled from me. Okay. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. We battle and discuss Pokemon, I think. The words, I like winning more than anything else, flash through my mind just now. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. This is fine progress, we're nearly home free. Wait, could those be? Hey, there's the torches. Probably. Let me put those torches back where they belong. The darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. Nice. Thank you for the delay, I've been late and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. If you follow the track marked torches, you'll read the terminus of this cave. Eh. 
What's up, Golbat? I'm just gonna get to the other side of this cave first. I'm Professor Levinson told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But I still wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, uh, but now I've sidetracked us with talk. Let's hurry onward. Heracross. Is it an alpha one? Ah. Where's the... There's the waypoint. I want to go look at the waterfall. this guy again. That's the big idea, putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away. Do you get some sort of amusement, stopping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people to venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Agreed? Oof. Well, this just goes to, this goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. And now you lads have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. I'll beat him. Come on. Go, Gun Tank. Show these lads the true meaning of silent. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I don't really have... It's fine. Burn him! It's burning! Ooh, back up. Nice. Don't get poisoned. Nice. There we go. Good job, Pony Seth. Listen here, neither I nor Sun take a knit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will just draw to a Ford Scun tank time to recover. Dude, I kicked your butt. There's no shame in tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Keep up your guard. We'll be back. And I like tripping. What a lively character. <laughs> yeah. I cannot fathom how Warden Neely's intent math that I cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions, but for now let's pa press on. Whoa. This place looks crazy. This is the ancient quarry. These stones were used to build the temple atop this mountain. We're all cut from this place. Whether by humans or Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to counter us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, uh, there you are, Ingo. Oh, it's Volo. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? 
When asked about that memory loss of yours, have you considered that could it somehow be caused by the space-time rift? I'm Volo, and I'm always here. I have no idea what no cause to think the rift is flame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home or my family if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Bailey, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Yingo. How about you, then? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of the rift? Was there anything inside? I don't want Volo to know. No, I didn't see anything. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. I mean, that makes sense. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this same space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That's why we were already had a name for it, as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it's the almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why has the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Bailey have fallen through to us? There's so, just so much we don't know. I firmly hope you unravel this mystery, Buffalo. I don't. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I am a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Bailey. Until next time, then, get out of here. You're absolutely evil. I mean, I think they're cool, but they're definitely evil. Once we're through here, it'll just be a little farther. Let us move with speed, but not haste. I don't know. I don't. What's the difference? Hello, Teddy Ursa! Hello, Ursa Luna! Oh my gosh, so many Ursa Luna. Oh, this person's setting up a camp? Ah, you're part of the galaxy team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard y'all were playing instead of camp. But it seems no progress has been made since that bronze horse getting in the way. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so we, can, we can't just ignore it either. At least you think you can find out what it, what it is bronze horse wants. Sure. Hang on. Where is it? It's over there? Hey, bronze horse. What do you want? Is there something over that way? There are berries. It wants it wants a berry from that tree. Oh, there's another bronzor over here. Yeah, gold duck, I see you. You're very scary. Let me talk to this bronzor. Aw. Aw. I saw bronzor go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. But it is the the bronzor, it's wounded. That's no good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. It was trying to get help for its friend. There, that should do it. Bronzor should be fit as a fiddle now. That's so cute. Seems the Bronzor at the new campsite was looking for its friend the whole time. I'm glad you looked into it. Otherwise, we would have been too late to treat this Bronzor. This land is dangerous, even for the Pokemon that call it their home. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you go explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a fine line of where stock for you, so please buy anything that you need. Ah, and it seems the base camp has been set up while we were talking. In which case, I should get settled in as well. So long! Hey, Hey, gold up. What's up, bro? You never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? But with Sneeze Lore as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew some secret, some hidden move. <laughs> what am I saying? Hidden moves? There's no such thing as a suit in his suey, surely. Yet I feel as though I was on, I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Yeah, you remember an HM's bro? Just who was I before I came to his suey? You fell from the sky. You come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would drag this memory loose. Would you do me the honor of a battle with me? Yeah, you know what? Sure, let's go. All aboard, then. Machoke, prepare for departure. 
Sick. Oh, he's got three Pokemon. Uh, I got my Ponyta out. Oh, my Ponyta's hurt! Goodbye, Tangela. All right, we did it. We did it. Bravo, excellent. brought you to the destination called Victory. Thanks. Now allow me to call Sneasler. Can you heal my Pokemon? Uh, yeah, once again, the jam that all the Pokemon and Hisuia love. Dang! Look at that Sneasler! That looks... Wild. <laughs> Allow me to introduce you. This King Clawed, po King Clawed Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? Yep. Lay down that track. God, it's so funny looking. Look how tall it is. Sneasler opened her heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Hey, toxic plate. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneasler's aid and call up the Lord of the Mountain. I will return to Jubilife. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Nelly. 
Calvin, all aboard. Sure thing, bro. Huh? Do I get in the basket? <laughs> Look at my eyes! Look at- <laughs> Oh, this is great! Oh, this rules! Okay. Alright. Well, this is hilarious. So that's <laughs> that's where we're gonna stop it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this. We'll, we'll go up that mountain next time. Uh, I'm gonna crawl around some of the uh, other hills, see what we can see, what cool stuff we can find. Um, yeah, see y'all next time. <laughs>